welcome back. <laughs> Hello, Peter. How you doing, man? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks. You? Yeah, great, man. Great. So, uh, so tell us, man. Uh, you guys, you guys are about to celebrate forty years. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, of I devastation. Uh, you know, it is devastating to me. You know, the the number forty. It's just unbelievable. It's amazing. I you know. I just I imagine how Rolling Stones were feeling. You know, <laughs> when all these decays were like just passing away. I'm joking, of course. Uh, you know, forty years. Uh, what can I do? Just. Uh, uh, I'm happy that after so many years of activity and brutality, <laughs> Vader is still active and still uh, pretty much welcome. So uh, I think that's that's huge achievement, and I, I never, never, I was never really dreaming about such, you know, uh, such such a situation, you know, that we will survive for that many years and we will be that active. For that many years, and uh, you know that we uh, we will play for like maybe third generation already of metalheads. So, <laughs> so we're ready. You know, um, forty years, two thousand twenty-three, and uh, actually, uh, uh, generally we uh, we plan to start to, uh, the anniversary uh, touring uh, since the end of vacation. So it's like. Uh, late summer this year, mm -hmm. and we're gonna uh, we're gonna extend this uh, for the whole 2025 as well. Wow! And uh, so, uh, but you know, by numbers, by year. So yes, uh, we already we already may say that we're celebrating. Uh, this is the year where we when we're celebrating uh, the 40 years of Vader existence, you know, in metal world. Yeah, I see you, you. You guys have uh, you guys you have tours coming up in Australia, New Zealand, and then uh, you also have. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, actually, uh, I can say that we starting uh, this year with the tours, uh, the the far away from home, <laughs> if I may say so. Uh, the first the first one goes uh, to U.S. and Canada. And uh, after a month break, uh, we attack uh, the Far East, at Asia, also Australia, New Zealand as well. Yeah. So, uh, but these tourings actually uh, are still like those we had to postpone, we had to cancel uh, one, two years ago, and uh, uh, these gonna combine like the, everything, you know, everything we did not play and we plan to play plus something fresh you know to refresh you know the formula of a touring but uh, uh, you know it, this is not gonna be yet I think the program for uh, for the anniversary because that should focus on on like more heat songs and everything and at the moment we have so good program uh, including uh, the really exotic songs I mean I, I call it exotic because these songs were never played or like very 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 occasionally played years ago uh, from uh, from a revelations album and also like uh, the album incantation because these album uh, had always uh, anniversary like 30s and uh, 20s anniversary so uh, of course not just these albums but on the program we're gonna focus uh, to bring back or to remind uh, these uh, for uh, for our fans you know so uh, and as I said like the anniversary uh, that starts uh, late summer and we will be back with a, a little different program probably in, in a year so at least that's the plan wow that's very cool man so uh, well it sounds like we have a lot to look forward to and, and I know we we definitely uh here over in state in, in the United States, we we definitely look forward to seeing you guys live, man. Same here, buddy. So uh, the last show we did in uh, February 2020, 
was absolutely great and uh, we we supposed to visit US and Canada again uh, at the beginning of 21 but as everybody knows that was a pandemic times and we had to cancel it we had to postpone this and uh, we tried to uh, make it earlier but it was really hard to uh, re- realize everything we planned you know it was just it was just accumulation of all these concert tourings and plans so we had to to, to, to make some decisions and uh, that's what we do and finally it is time to uh, be back on, on uh, American soil uh, to step back on American soil and uh, we're definitely going to bring something special so um, I am sure that the, our old fans old friends also those who started to listen to Vader not so long time ago we'll be pretty much satisfied I'm sure about that yeah well uh, speaking of that you know uh, you guys have um quite a discography and and, you know really when you when you look at it uh it's very uh you've always maintained your sound i mean it 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 always you never strayed too far away it always sounds it's it's vader there's no denying it uh thank you you know it's i think it's it's pretty natural you know when we started a long time ago it's over three decades already so of course, like the first albums uh, were more like like uh, something we uh, we could not realize before. You know, remember that we started in '83, and uh, since the very beginning of Vader uh, till the first album, it was almost a decade. So that's a lot of time. And but we came from Poland, and the realities were not that nice like today. And uh, everything we had to work twice or five times more than every other band uh, in the West, you know. So, uh, but you know, we we love that music. We still, I still do love the music, and uh, you know, and we wanted to uh, give something from our soul as well, you know. And that was the main reason why. Uh, besides listening to metal, we started to create metal and to do our own. And as I said, like beginning was more influenced uh, since Black Sabbath, Slayer, you know, to like this new generation of extreme metal. But then we found our own way, and then that was pretty natural. And uh, I'm glad that 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 uh, you can you know uh, recognize Vader by sound or by songs or whatever mm-hmm. because like with for me this is natural and I, uh, I never I was never thinking deeper about this it was just like natural <laughs> I just let let it flow you know and like to, this is how it is since the beginning but yeah. you know after years like uh, you know uh, as a composer uh, as a man you know so I uh, I can more and this comes easier and and uh, so much more to say you know yeah. that's that's why but you know but thanks again you know for yeah you're welcome man uh now going back to to your beginnings can you tell us uh like as a child what what were some of the what were some of the bands and music that you were listening to that that influenced you and got you into playing music you know but before black sabbath which was actually my first step uh, to hard rock and uh, and uh, uh, later named metal music and uh, it was just I was just too young and uh, you know Poland was not that open for for uh, the real you know music the news what's going on around so actually what I could find in TV or in radio mostly radio station of course so what what I was listening to and you know as like ABBA or like uh, status quo or like BG you know that was the music you could hear Mm-hmm. Or of course some Polish, uh, like the rock bands or blues bands, you know, kind of popular back then, you know. But you know, music. Uh, but but then you know uh, that that was a good side of Polish radio. They they never gave a fuck about like the royalties or like oh the law and about like uh, playing the music and rise and things. So that was actually, ironically, the uh, for many people the only source of the music and. There were so many young and hungry for some fresh styles 
open-minded uh, uh, people in the radio station, and they had usually delayed. They had some uh, an hour or two hours just to uh, to show something from their collection. So that's that's how we could listen the whole record sometimes, you know, played in the radio with the titles and with everything. So that's actually how I knew uh, Screaming for Vengeance, you know, as a whole album and and uh, the Tyromania and many, many metal albums. Uh, I started to listen before I started to to buy albums uh, or type, you know, type trade with friends and just to travel across the Poland just to record some something which is not available in the stores, you know, because remember in Poland in the 80s and 90s even, there were no like regular record stores in Poland, so like the stores were all radio or black market, I mean you know, you could just like buy uh, the records, the vinyls of course, and uh, for absolutely fortune, because it was very very expensive uh, or, you know just visiting the friends who had a family outside of Poland and had like uh, the chance to to receive the packages, you know, shipped from the from US, from Germany, from France, and and they had the albums, and we were just like recording it, like they had like tape recorders, like of course cassettes were the most popular uh, format back in eighties. So uh, I still have like the hundreds of cassettes like recorded like with with everything everything available you know so Hell that's yeah. how we knew something about like new coming bands just look then came the demo tapes times like when we started to train but that came later like in like uh, the late 80s and uh, after the situation started to be slightly different and better you know totally. but the beginning was was pretty hard pretty hard uh, the band name Vader. How did you guys come up with that? Is there a story behind that? <laughs> how do you think? <laughs> of course, like Star Wars. You know, like uh, really. Uh, that's well, what. That's yeah, what I've always looking, thought. <laughs> yeah, I had the, this, of course, it's natural. That was the time uh, when uh, Star Wars were pretty popular and was a huge in Poland. And uh, uh, me and uh, Zbyszek, Vika, and uh, me, uh, we together we like co-founded Vader uh, between eighty two eighty three, and we are uh, looking for a good name uh, which will sound good and uh, describe pretty well what we play. And we wanted to play extreme metal, extreme music dark music and you know who's better than Vader you know to explain the situation like who who's <laughs> better than Vader to show the dark side right so uh, of course like you know that was the the first first uh, and the uh, episodes of Star Wars so and we were younger so everything was different so, you know Star Wars turn into some like wider you know spectrum of of of, uh, of movie for like for for generations decades after but for us vader is still vader you know this is a symbol and actually star wars we can say now it's actually uh could not be without vader it's a vader's story you know, mm -hmm. since yeah since since anank until till vader right now so uh that's how it came, you know. Vader sounded great. A meaning, you know, was also great. Like uh, uh, back then, it sounded a little bit like father. And uh, of course, nobody knew that we will be kind of fathers for extreme metal scene in Poland. But <laughs> after decades, but back then we are teenagers, and uh, we were not even thinking that we will survive. Uh, five years or something. We just started to play this. We started a band. We wanted just to have fun, to give fun, you know, to get some crazy, to, you know, to get some beer, to new, new girls, you know, that's teenagers, you know, like rock and roll, just more hard. <laughs> that's how it started, you know, then became, of course, more serious. And since the middle of 19s, we just after so hard decisions uh, decided just a fader going to be like uh, our job and it's going to be a professional professional death metal band whatever it sounds like <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it, it is how it was you know so so since then we just can focus 100% on the band and uh, just be better 
than we were. Fuck yeah, man! Well, uh, for for all the uh, for all the ge- g- gearheads out there and guitar players, can you give us a rig rundown of like some of the equipment that you're using to get these sounds? Like what kind of guitars and amps and stuff? You know what? Uh, uh, of course, I I use equipment uh, I got, but it's really hard to say which is better or not because this is this is more like I think. Uh, uh, it's like friends, like like books, like movies, like everything. It's like it depends what you need, what you like, you yeah. know. So uh, I I always I I fell in love in V shapes. Like uh, right after I saw that huge poster of of uh, K K Downing, like just you know, yeah. bow like with with <laughs> with a with a flying V above. You know that that cover picture for uh, Unleashing the East. You know, I yeah. I had this picture. Like I still like saw that one. I still have like the new reproduction of that that one. Just to remind the very beginning, and I'm I'm so happy I could just uh, knew KK personally, like to shake hands to say all my feelings about like like actually he infected me with love to guitar and you know to V shapes and this style of playing you know with a tremolo and all these noises you know uh, this is I think like that was natural evolution after Hendrix and uh, you know and then the uh, Hanuman King then even made it more extreme and then like like more and more like Trey as it felt like this is that style you know but in my opinion KK started this with, with this spe- specific tremolo use and all these noises which are like not just noises they're like music you know especially for Lee's these effects you know that's I love that you know I still do and uh, uh, that was the beginning that's why the guitars I have they like 90% V shapes uh, the new one, still talking about shapes, of course, but as I said, neck and, uh, you know, strings, everything, that's very personal. So you have to just do, uh, to make it fit to your hands, you know, to your style and everything. Mm-hmm. But uh, the rest, it's a sound. So it's, you know, I still love Massa Boogie, the old rectifiers. I love the Marshall because Marshall gives that natural, the original old style sound, you know, of metal. And you know, and uh, we play live. We play on uh, on the VH, uh, no, the, the EDH, uh, the hundred watt, like the huge, very great, powerful amp at tube, of course. That's first of all. So that's that's the best. And uh, as far as we can bring our own, we do. If not, we trying to use uh, we trying to use like the, the rented one uh, contours, like. In some parts of the world, we have our own stuff just waiting for us, and uh, you know, a sound. But as far as you have good team, as far as you know your your instruments, as far as if you have a good sound engineer, the man who knows what you need, how to make it, uh, you can say about like a sound because this is just too many factors deciding about the sound, and you know. <laughs> Yeah, that you know, I, we could we, I, I, we could we could chat hours about sound and everything, <laughs> but you know, somebody else still will prefer something different. So, which is fair, of course. It's just this is how it is, and you know, if everybody would create the same, you know, sound, that would be boring. You know, I said, fuck. You know, that's that's good. That some people they trying just to sometimes they don't have it. it like Vader on the first album, you know, it's like I I never liked that sound on the album, but I had no chance, no opportunity, no other, you know, possibility. We 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 had no had chance to buy our own equipment, so we had just handmade guitars and uh, the amp given to us in the studio, the time given to us in the studio, some pedals handmade, like we brought with us just to uh, give that little boost to the regular marshals it was like 90% like equip the studios and uh, and that's it you know but sometimes and you know how it is because it's about, I, I met many people who say I love the, the ultimate incantation sound uh, I say I know I, I don't but you know it's it's not me who decide about like it or not you know fans uh, do and, and that's fair the same with me it's so many albums 
I, I really like uh, and uh, the bands they do not that much you know like Halloway Slayer that example I love that sound dark sound it's different mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's but compared to to sharp you know sharp sound that's uh, I think I, about the sound I think I said more than I, I should and this is all about sound you know it's just like you like it or not mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, and so I gave just an example with the Slayer Hell Ways because like it sounds so much different than Red and Blood or later albums and then like the new generation for new generation metal has it might sound very weak and uh, very weird but you know I like that so I like this you know difference you know and uh, and of course life uh, this album sounds even more powerful just because it's it's just um, uh, it's a more more uh, sharp in sound and everything but uh, the albums if they would sound the same would be boring so I like the differences the slight difference in sound between with between albums of the bands I like you know yeah yeah I totally agree well uh, Peter I'm about out of questions for you man is there anything you want to let the let your fans know I can't wait just to be back in the U.S., you know, and Canada. Because, like, it was really, really too long time. Uh, we had to wait so long time to visit the uh, U.S. in 2020 and after that fucking great tour. So we definitely need another one, and that's what's coming up. And I really, really hope that nothing going to stop us this time. And and we're pretty much ready. Hell yeah. We're pretty much ready for the trip and uh, for a really good tour. And uh, as I promised before, as I said before, so we will bring very nice... Uh, combination of songs and very good set so and uh, that's gonna be 100% Vader if not 120% of Vader and let's celebrate 40 years you know it's actually just started <laughs> with a new year so uh, all good for you for all metalheads for all Vader maniacs and uh, see you soon that's Fuck yeah, my man. Wish. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Peter, uh, before I let you go, can I get you to make us a station tag real quick? Sure. Say something like, uh, this is Vader, and you're listening to Metal Devastation Radio. Hello, you maniacs. Uh, you're listening to Vader Devastation Radio, and uh, here is Peter from Vader speaking. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, you know what? I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. I know the internet's been fucked up and everything. It's a but, pleasure. Uh, just sorry for the inconvenience. It's just... Hey, it's okay. Know, it happens. No. <laughs> it is not, but what can I do? Shit happens, man. But w we look right. forward to seeing you guys on the road, man. Yeah, yeah. Same here, buddy. All right, man. All right. So uh, take care. Have a good day. And uh, see you in a while. You too, Peter. Yeah. Bye. All right, bye bye. There you have it, folks. Vader on the Zach Moonshine Show with Metal Devastation Motherfucking Radio.